Hey y'all, welcome to the Three Minute Thirsty with the Max. Today I'm making a SCOBY. Now, some people know what a SCOBY is, some people do not. So a SCOBY is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. It's used in many foods and beverages. So I want to make my very own because our family has been drinking kombucha. What is kombucha? Kombucha is basically fermented tea and it is very full of probiotics it's very good gut health so instead of buying why don't we make our own so that's what i'm going to do today um and you will need if you ever decide to make it it's very very easy to do but there are a few things that you need to remember kombucha you can buy your culture from the store now you need original unflavored and make sure that it has your culture so i found this about an hour away from where we live and you will you will need non-flavored that's very important so the next thing that's very very important is i have taken this big bucket and i brought it to a bowl and i sterilized my jar it's very important that your jar is good and clean because this is going to sit and it's going to have stuff growing it so you don't want bad stuff growing you want the good stuff growing so i have allowed my kombucha when i bought it yesterday it is in the cold section so i have allowed it to sit out overnight and warm up and you were, you're gonna see little stuff floating around in there. That's the good stuff. So I have basically put that in my clean jar and I have made tea. So our tea is brought down to room temperature because you don't want anything too cold and you don't want anything too hot. You want everything to be room temperature. So I have made my tea and I put about a cup of sugar in it. Now, what kind of sugar? You want raw, cane sugar raw cane sugar so that's what i have put in here and i did it when it was still just a little warm enough to melt the sugar but not hot or even close to hot because if you dump hot on your cultures it's going to kill your cultures so that's a big no-no so the only other step is put in your tea now i hope i don't make a mess here you're going to pour your and i did you're going to pour your tea into your gallon and that bacteria and yeast is going to eat off the sugar in your tea and you're going to get a slimy jelly like pancake on the top of this here now that's good the thing that you do want to watch out for is mold now mold can form it's not very likely to form from all the research that I've done, but it can. So if you see something floating on the top that's green or black, that's not good. And you can do more research on that. But the culture is going to make a jelly-like pancake on top. It takes anywhere from two to four weeks, depending on time. Don't mess with your jar. Keep it in a dark place and then you too will have a scoby. One last thing to remember is we used black tea with no additives. You can also use green tea. Now when you start, it's probably best to use the black tea because it's a little bit stronger and that's what we did. Happy homesteading y'all.